there has been some sort of a creature lurking around my zoo. Today, the culprit has been caught. Zeus caught the predator last night. Zeus, what do you have? He dragged it under a tree. What did he get, guys? What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well today's video is one I'm sure all of you guys have been waiting for. If you have been following my channel, you will know that there has been some sort of a creature, some sort of a predator, some sort of a culprit lurking around my zoo. This culprit has injured a peacock, it killed one, it attacked a hawk, and it even attacked my puppies. But today, the culprit has been caught. My dogs caught the culprit last night. If you guys wanna see what it is, how they caught it, how we got it, well guys, you are in the right place. So if you guys wanna see how my dogs caught the beast, what the beast is, well guys, you are in the right place and we're going to hop right into that now. Guys, we're on the front side of my property now and the reason being is because we have been trying to trap a beast. The beast has been lurking around. If you guys have seen the videos, you will know that the beast has been lurking around. He's been here, but we have had some serious trouble catching him. But recently, one of my dogs was attacked by the beast. And I was just talking to my neighbor now, telling him the whole story. And he told me last night at two in the morning, my dogs were running right here, chasing a large mammal of some sort. He said it was about four feet long, which means it could only be a couple of things. It could be a raccoon. It could be a coyote or it could be a fox or maybe even another dog. I am not entirely sure, but since the beast was up here in the front side of the property, it is going to be a lot harder for it to get away because it is wide open here. There's not places for it to hide like in the forest in the back. So what does that mean? Well, that means we are going to be setting some traps. We've got our large trap. We have got our small trap. And we're going to set the trap for this beast. We're going to start here with the small one, guys. This is one of the final attempts at trying to trap the beast. Otherwise, I'm gonna hire a professional to come in here, set up thermal cameras, do the whole shebang, so we can get this guy out of here. But I'm hoping that once we set the traps here in the big open area, that will catch him. So we're gonna go this way. I'm thinking we're gonna put our first trap right up here in the bushes. It's right up here on the fence line, and it's just tucked away. So in the morning when it's hot and sunny, if we do trap something, it won't roast and cook in the sun. So we're gonna put it right up here. Now we've gotta set our trap first. So if we're dealing with a small little fox of some sort, I think it'll go right in here. Guys, if you've been watching, you know we've been setting a lot of traps and we just have had no luck thus far. So we're gonna just set this right here. Let's see if we're set, one, two. All right, the trap is set. Now that this trap is set, we're going to put it in the bushes. Now, this trap right here, we have a little ramp right here. This little ramp right here, whatever animal goes in, if it steps on it, the door's going to shut. For those of you that have been on the channel, you know how the traps work. For those of you that are new, well, I just showed you how it works. So we're gonna slide this trap right up in here. We're gonna slide it way up in the bushes, right up in here. And what I wanna do this time, what we didn't do last time, is we're gonna set a little trail of food leading to the trap. So I'm gonna put some here, and we're gonna do a little trail just like this, slowly leading into the trap. We're gonna put a little in the trap here and then the rest is going to go in the back. I'm just gonna pour some right here in the back. So whatever animal this is, is gonna come eating and it's gonna follow the trail into the trap. I've done this before, but I haven't been doing it recently. So that could be a reason why we're not trapping the beast. So we have trap number one set, it's in the bush. And when you step away, all you see is that entrance. I think this is the perfect spot for that trap. So now that we set trap number one, well, we've got to find and pick a spot for trap number two. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, guys, we're going, we're moving along, and we're looking for a spot for trap number two. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking the good luck wishing well is a good idea. We're just going and cruising. Guys, where do you think we should set the trap? So I'm still up on the front side of my property and I was thinking of good spots to set this big old trap right here because this is one serious trap. I mean, we could trap a lot of animals inside of this trap. And I was trying to find a good spot and I thought, what better place than the good luck wishing well? And if that well right there actually is good luck, then by setting the trap by that, well, I think we're gonna find the beast. I think we're gonna trap him, guys. What do you think? Let's get to it, let's set the trap. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I actually set this trap right here. It's pretty much the same, it's just really big. So we're gonna put this bar right here and we're gonna lift the trap up just like this. Now for anyone that's actually dealing with any sort of a predator that may be eating their animals and chickens, I know a lot of people have problems 
with having their chickens eaten. Well, getting these traps like these is a great way to stop the predator. So all we're gonna do is lift this lid up. We're gonna slide this bar forward and the trap is set. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna have a little trail of food leading into the trap and the gold mine of food is going to be at the back end. And when the predator walks in and steps on this ramp, look at that, the trap is going to slam shut. So we're gonna take this trap right now. We're gonna reset it and get it set up behind the well. All right, here we go. We've got our trap right here. So we're just gonna reset it once again. We're gonna lift it on up just like this. We're gonna push the bar forward and we're gonna slide the trap right back in here. This is an absolutely perfect spot. Now we're gonna start the food right over here. We're just gonna have this little bit going in. We're gonna put a little bit right there and then we're going to come to the back right here as you can see. And we're gonna continue sprinkling just a little bit of food in and then we're gonna come to the back and that's where we're gonna pour the gold mine of food. By having all of this food here, well, I think it's going to be absolutely irresistible for the beast. And look who it is, Zeus is here. Come here, buddy, come here, Zeus. Hey, buddy. So Zeus is here right now. Zeus was attacked by the beast. Come here, Zeus. Zeus, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy, hi, man. Zeus right now is just hanging out. He's being a good boy. He's just a big old pup. His wounds are healing just fine. If you come look on this side, you can see where his wounds are healing. You can see where he was like almost slashed open. I know your wounds still hurt a little bit, buddy. He was almost slashed open by the beast, but luckily for this big guy right here, he is a brave dog indeed. Zeus, you're gonna catch me a beast? You're gonna chase him again tonight? The neighbor said that you were chasing the beast. Is this true? Can you tell me? Yes, guys, he said it was true. And now that I have tr both traps one and two set, we've got Zeus and Xena. Well, the only thing left to do is wait. Whatever predator is lurking is gonna be out at nighttime. So guys, I'll be back with all of you tomorrow morning to check the traps. The next day. Guys, I was just looking out of this window right here and I think Zeus caught the predator last night. There's an object. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks like he's there like he's eating it like he's got it caught right there You can see there's something there now from my angle inside of the house when I'm looking at it It is most definitely some sort of an animal. It's like a gray and black color. My lens doesn't zoom anymore Oh my gosh I wish I could zoom in more but look guys Zeus is there and then Xena's under the tiki hut as well, guys. I think, I think they got the beast. Good morning, guys. We're outside now and we're going over to Zeus. Zeus, what do you have? He dragged it under a tree. What did he get, guys? Wait, before I even see it, he's covered. Guys, comment down below. What did he catch? I don't even see it yet. All right, we're gonna look. Zeus, what'd you get, buddy? Oh my goodness, Zeus. Zeus, you caught a raccoon, Zeus. Guys, I think this is the beast. He doesn't seem to be, let me see. Okay, he's definitely dead. Okay, this is insane. Zeus, Zeus, did you did you catch the beast? There's, Zeus is there. Where, Xena, there is Xena. Xena, do, oh my gosh, guys, we finally caught the beast. I think this is one of the predators. Guys, I'm in total shock right now. I thought it was gonna be a fox or a coyote, but it ended up being a raccoon. Look at those big old raccoon teeth right there. Honestly, these things can carry rabies and all kinds of nasty things. That's why we get our dogs vaccinated from all those bad things, right, Zeus? Zeus, you did it. You caught the beast. This is insane, guys. Guys, I cannot believe that Zeus caught the beast. I am so proud of Zeus. He caught the beast. Him and Xena, tag team effort. Now, raccoons are a native animal, but in some cases, they do become nuisances if they do have rabies and if they are tormenting your property. So as sad as it is to actually see this raccoon die, this raccoon has been a menace on the property. I'm pretty sure that this raccoon here is the one that attacked Zeus. Because if you look at this, come look at his claws. These little claws right here, they might not look like much, but these claws can sure do damage along with those canines. And honestly, we really shouldn't even be touching up on this raccoon because we don't know if it potentially has rabies. Yeah, it's definitely not a good idea to be touching on it, but Zeus caught the beast. We have finally caught and trapped the beast and well, we're gonna have to bury this guy because I think that's the proper thing to do and that, my friends, is gonna end today's episode. Hope all of you guys did enjoy watching this little series. It finally concluded. Mission accomplished. We got the beast. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below a congratulations to Zeus. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you wanna see us trap more animals. You wanna see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises and all kinds of crazy animals. But guys, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell and you all will be notified whenever I post.